Okay, in this segment we're going to do a quick jump out of LCC and just look at how do you configure Panel Pro to talk to your LCC system. So that way you can have a TTC panel or display of some sort. Okay, so let's go over to the computer. Okay. Okay, here we are. So what we're going to do is make a quick panel in Panel Pro and then we're going to link that to the configuration we just did. Okay, and that was in the previous video. So let me go ahead and open up Panel Pro. See if we can find it here. Panel Pro, lots of videos out there on how to configure it and set it up, so I won't spend much time. I'm mostly going to focus on how to connect Panel Pro into um, LCC network. So uh -huh. first thing we need to do is make a little panel, so I'm going to create a new panel. I'm going to use Layout Editor. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. I'm going to check real quick here under Options, Grid Options. Look at this. Snap to Grid when adding, and then Options. Snap to grid when editing, when moving, because I want to have these things kind of line up. Okay, so um, we're going to start with putting a left-hand turnoff. That's really all that I have on this uh, little demo, demo layout. So you just hit Shift, and then click, and out comes your left-hand turnoff. Perfect. Now you need to do end bumpers on these things. Again, there's lots out there on the webs. And where you want to put it, Shift, click, that's one end. And you put another end out here, Shift, click. And then I want to do an, inter an anchor point, an in intermediate point here. So I want to put this out just a little bit, you know, so it kind of has a better visual thing. The difference between an end bumper and an anchor point is there's two connections on an anchor, your end just has one. What you want to do is have these little bubbles turn green when you're all done. So now this basically outlines it. I switch over to track segments. And I might as well make a mainline because they're so much fun. So again, you do... Uh, Shift and click and see how it lights up. So we want to connect these two together. Green, green. Shift, click. Connect these two guys together. Green, green. Shift, click. Get these two guys out there. Notice it turned yellow. It's looking for another connection. Then shift, click. Wow. Get you over to there. So now we've got the layout. Go ahead and save it. Save my panel. Okay, so now we got this panel made up but it's not connected to the LCC network. So to do that, this is the real cool part. Go ahead and open up your Panel Pro window again. LCC, configure nodes, and open up your configuration dialog for the node that you want to work on. Okay. What we're going to do is link LCC to JMRI in Panel Pro. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to the individual segments, line one through eight. Here's all the configuration we did before. That's all well and good. But look at the bottom here. We've got the sensor turnout creation tool. Now watch what's going to happen here. We're going to first of all start with detectable one siding. And I'm just going to simply copy this name because we just like to make things very painfully easy for us, right? We want to do that. So this is the name of that signal. And come down here. Remember these events are what are created? Not this one. These are the command ones. We didn't configure this. But when the input is on, it's going to send this command right here, right? So we're going to go ahead and copy this and paste it on. You don't have to remember the whole number, but you just need to copy and paste it. You'll use that number. So 06 is for the input on, so that's for the active. See what I mean? Active is now when it's on. Okay. Go to event number 2 here, input off, copy, paste. So 06 is when it's on, 07 is when it's off and active for this detector sighting. Now watch what happens. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go over here to Tools, uh, Options rather, Toolbar, uh -huh. Panel Pro, Tools, Tables, Sensors. Now we're going to create some sensors here. So this is what JMR thinks are current sensors, sensors, right? Okay, okay. So okay. watch what happens. I've got this thing set up in LCC. I'm going to create a sensor. Boom. Wow. Detect siding 0607. There it is. It's ready to go. It's ready to use. We're going to do the same thing for the other ones. Detect main. Copy, paste, and what are the signals for that? Event 1, copy is when it's on, oops, copy, paste, and when it's off, copy, paste, make a sensor. Here's the siding. Now we just keep coming through. I'm actually configuring between JMRI and LCC. That's all there is to it, folks. That's really all there is. Event 1. Copy paste. This is the 1E signal. Event 2. Copy paste. 1E1F. Boom. Made it. And the last one is detection of block 1. Copy. 
put it down here, paste, and command event, input on, so copy, paste that one here, event to copy and paste that one here. We're going to make one more sensor. So now we've got four sensors, four events. All right, I'm going to slide this thing over here. And by the way, let's just test it. I got the test layout right over here. Get my fingers a little bit wet just to see. Wow. Uh, active, inactive. When I'm touching the tracks, I can, um, there, that one's now active. Let's see if I can get this guy active. Yep. So they're connected now. Now we need to tie that back to, you saw it when the state changed. Now let's tie it over to our panel here. Okay. Right click, edit. This is the block name. We're going to call that block one. Again, this is just a placeholder name. Create edit block. And this is where I tie it to a certain sensor. I'm going to call it detector block one. Apply. OK. Made it a little bit fat there. That's fine. Um, done. Uh -huh. All right, next one. For this turnout here. Now we've got the four segments here. Let me try it again. I put my finger on one of the tracks. Wow. There we go. We've got detection working. Turn on and the main track here. And there you go. Now you've got your layout set up as um, in JMRI. And you can uh, you can see that the panels, the sensors are all working. There you go. That's it. That's all for today. Next time we'll do turnouts.